This demonstration is to show you how to change a batch file to a working icon. First, you have to find your notepad. You find notepad, you click on it. Now I'm going to copy in the code. I'm doing this because you have to have perfect syntax, perfect spacing, or the code won't work. Here's a better view of the code. Make sure you put exit. If you don't put exit, if you put pause or stop, you'll have several panels left over after the CD drawer opens. Now to make the batch file, you got the code in the notepad, right? Now what you do, you slide down and do a save as. Now make sure you know exactly where it's at. That's why I've got that arrow at the top. Now I'll go down to the file name, delete the dot text, and I typed, because it's going to be out on your windows, I'm going to type open space CD bat. Open CD dot BAT. I'm going to save it, but before I save it, you go down to encoding and slide up to ANSI and hit save. Now you go to your hard drive, go to where you stored the file, slide down. And find your file there it is open CD now you click edit because you want to make sure all the syntax and all the spacing is correct or the or the program won't work go back on your file and right click it you click on send to you slide over to the right and come down and you click on desktop in parentheses create shortcut parentheses that will send your bat file the file will look like two little gears to your desktop right click it and look at properties then go to the bottom and click on change icon now there might be a file that appears all you do is click OK then pick an icon I picked the one that has a hard drive and a disk on top of it then that will be sent that will change your bat file to your icon. Now let's see if it works. All you gotta do is click it. There's your little table I said would show. There'll be several tables show if you don't put exit. I'm showing this because now you can click on that and rename it. You delete the dash and the shortcut word. Then it will actually just say open CD. Now, this is just a little extra. I think this is pretty neat. What you do is find your command prompt. And right at the cursor, you print color FZ. FZ does not really mean anything. What you're doing, you're sending the code, and it really doesn't mean anything. So they're going to show you a table since you wrote color first. Of all the different colors, you can make your background and your lettering. What you're looking at now is like what you see in co a COBOL program. Now what you're looking at is what it looks like in Pascal. It's blue with white lettering. But some Pascal words will come up blue background with yellow lettering. I just wanted to show you that. And that's just a completely different color. And to get back to COBOL, you go to 0A.